How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the ASUS ZenBook U4100U laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 8 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Flip the laptop onto its back and remove the 9 screws with the T4 bit. Use a storage box or a magnetic mat to avoid confusion about the different sizes of screws. Then use tweezers to remove the two rubber pads and use the PH0 bit to remove the two screws under them. Then use a spudger to open the laptop's case. After opening the case, unplug the power cord connected to the battery and press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Unplug the connector and remove the three screws around the fan. Remove the six screws on the heatsink in order. Then, remove the heatsink. You can use tweezers to take out the cable around the fan and then remove the fan. Put on the gloves and use the thermal paste cleaning wipes to remove the dried thermal paste from the heatsink and processor. We recommend Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you don't have thermal paste wipes, you can use a lint-free towel with high concentration alcohol instead. Step 4, remove and clean the fan. This is an optional step, and you can skip it if you don't want to clean the fans. Pick up the fan and clean off the dust on the fan. You can use an air blower or compressed air for better cleaning results. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Apply some high-performance thermal paste, like Cooling Monster Cold 01, onto the CPU and GPU. You can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the P-size method if you like. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Finally, reinstall the fan, heatsink, power cord, and case back in reverse order. Reinstall the fan and put the cable in the right place. Reinstall the heat sink. Please note that the screws are installed in diagonal order and screwed halfway, and then tightened after all screws are installed to prevent uneven force.
Then, plug in the fan connector and power cord, and reinstall the case. Reinstall the rubber pads and screws on the case. Then the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.